Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 370. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College of Set link. You can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 370. Hey, how do we do conditional formatting where we add green to even numbers and red to odd numbers? Hey, I'm going to start by creating a bunch of uh, randomly uh, random numbers. Highlight the whole range, and in the active cell, we'll put our formula. That's the light colored cell. Int gives me the integer part, hacks off all the decimals and rounds, and goes down to the integer. Then ran. Ran will give us a number between 0 and 1. And if we multiply that times 45, that inner part right here will give us a number between 0 and 44. Close parentheses. Now I'm going to populate all of the cells, so Control Enter. Now I want to add conditional formatting. The active cell right there is very important because you build the formula for true false to turn on and off conditional formatting from the point of view of the active cell. Home, styles, conditional formatting, new rule. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt O D. New rule. I'm going to do Alt N. I'm going to arrow down, use formula, tab, and the formula is going to be equals the mod function. Now I'm going to say the mod function of this cell reference, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to make it a relative cell reference. That means the mod will take whatever number is in the cell, and the mod we can then divide that number by 2. What does mod do? It gives you the remainder. What's 32 divided by 2? It's 16. And what's the remainder? Nothing. What's 33 divided by 2? Well, it's 16 remainder 1. So this formula right here will give us a 1 or a 0. Now, we want to do green for even, so we have to, right now this would spit out a 0, right? Because for an even number, remainder 0. Well, 0 is false, so to turn that to a true, we say equals 0. So when it's 0, when it's equal to 0, we'll add green. I'm going to do fill, more colors. I'm going to select that green right there. All right, now we click OK before I copy that part. Now I'm going to do new rule, Alt N. Arrow, 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 down arrow, tab, control V. Now this one we could just leave there. This will be the odd. So whenever it comes out to be 1, 1 is true. Actually, any number besides 0 is true. Format, I'm going to do red. Since this is value-wise dark, I'm going to go to font. I'm going to change it to a light color. Click OK. Click OK. Now there's going to be a problem here because 0 is neither odd nor even. So we need to add a different color for that. Notice it's working now if I hit the F9 key to randomize. It's uh, working just fine. All of the uh, even numbers are green and the odd numbers are red. I'm going to, with the active cell still uh, highlighted, Alt OD. And I'm going to Alt N, arrow, 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 tab. A1 equals 0. So that's a relative cell reference that will be copied in memory. That's what conditional formatting does. It stores that formula in memory as if it's stored in each cell. Equals 0, what is it going to be? Hey, how about yellow or something? Yellow. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Oh, look, that didn't work. I'm going to hit F9, F9. Let's see, there's a 0 and it didn't work. Here is a peculiarity, if I can say that word right, of uh, conditional formatting. Alt OD. Once in a while, you get a formula. It like didn't understand it for a moment, so I'm going to put it into edit mode, double click. And it puts quotes around it. And you actually have to open it back up uh, and get rid of those quotes. And then it will understand it. It's just a weird thing that happens once in a while. Click OK. And um, it happens more than once in a while. Now if I hit F9, there, we've done conditional formatting where we have added even green, odd red, and zero is yellow. Hey, I'll see you next trick.